What's up, everybody? I'm back and I'm feeling great. Today's November 10th. I am over halfway through my little 30 day challenge for um, YouTube. I'm on this is day 16, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I just wanted to I'm going to go over some Twitter stuff like usual, because, you know, that's what I do. <laughs> I'm, I'm the Twitter news guy. Uh, one of them, a lot of people are doing Twitter, Twitter news because that's that's kind of that's where the drama is right now. Right. Or partially some of the drama. It looks like um, there is rumors or news that that Elon is talking about bankruptcy with Twitter. <laughs> so that's great. <laughs> um, yeah, but I just want I was just looking at my YouTube feed and I was like, it's gotten really weird lately. I've got like stuff about animals and uh, what is uh, a lot of new, uh, music stuff. So um, and then other weird things. I guess I've just changed up what I've been watching lately. But let's go on to Twitter, shall we? I was just kind of going through here. I never really go to explore because uh, I don't know what I just never do. And there's some sports stuff going on, which I'm not a fan of sports, really. But on my last video, I was like, there were two check marks, but Elon Musk got rid of them. But apparently he did not. So that was my mistake. Actually, the official check mark is still here, which is for an official someone of importance, I guess, which I believe will be going away at some point. And then you have the regular paid check mark, I guess. This account is verified because it's notable in government. OK, so maybe not. I really have no clue because this apparently he got this. This must be the old check mark because he was um, notable and now he has this new official check mark. I really have no clue what's going on with the check marks and you can see it's in the feed as well right here. So who knows? But uh, yeah, Bill Gates is double check marked. I'm only single check marked. So that's no fun. Like, where's my double check mark? But uh, Mr. Yoel Roth and head of sales Robin Wheeler are departing the company. And so these were the head of trust and safety. Now, I don't know, were these guys before um, Elon came or not? I'm not sure. Maybe this article will shine some light. Elon Musk in his first address to Twitter Inc. Uh, employees said, or employees, Twitter Inc. employees. <laughs> I can't read. Since purchasing the company for 44 billion said that bankruptcy was a possibility if it doesn't start generating more cash. Well, of course, if you're not generating cash, then yeah, bankruptcy is a possibility. And um, yeah, it says here, Yoel Roth, Robin Wheeler resigned. Uh, it goes on to say that uh, employ employees should brace for 80 hour work weeks. We already know that he was telling everybody that you got to work hard and all that stuff. If you don't want to come, resignation accepted. Musk has in the past used the threat of financial ruin in an attempt to motivate workers. So it could be that he's just saying, hey, we're going to go bankrupt. Better work hard or else y'all y'all's jobs are going to be on the line. He's trying to convey the notion that if people don't work hard, Twitter will be left in a very difficult spot. This person said some person. We don't know who it is. He also hinted at products he'd like to introduce and including payments ads that are more conversational i'm not sure what that means to have a conversation with an ad and interest bearing checking account so this is going to be multiple things it's we're going to have a checking i'm going to be able to deposit money into twitter i'm going to be able to have conversations with ads uh, i'm going to be able to make payments as well as tweet and put up videos and all that what can't it do what can't twitter do uh, it goes on to say a bunch of other stuff about money. I don't really care. And then, of course, we have Mr. Zuckerberg. What? What? This isn't Twitter. This this is Meta. <laughs> yes, that's right. I'm going to read an article about Meta. Um, what the heck is this? So, Zuck did a U-turn. A Zuck U-turn. <laughs> is Zuck a noun? Uh, or what is that? An adjective? I don't know. Describing word? About two we well, weeks ago, Mark Zuckerberg raised a giant middle finger to investors who were clamoring for cost cuts. The move went stunningly wrong, crushing the shares of Facebook parent company Meta. The young billionaire founder didn't take very long to learn his lesson. Meta is now worth about $250 billion, less than Home Depot, a seller of wrenchers and flower pots. 
<laughs> Neta is less worth less than a seller of wrenches and flower pots. Come on, guys. Home Depot sells way more than wrenches and flower pots, okay? I've gone there so many times, all right? Although I did buy flower pots from Home Depot and flowers, plants. Apple is worth more than eight times Zuckerberg's company. Isn't that wild? So yeah, I don't know what's going on with the Zucker iceberg, the Zuck meta, but uh, I am interested in getting a Quest headset. So maybe, uh, is that what they're called? Oculus Quest, yeah. Uh, that's all the news that I have. I have nothing else to talk about. Watch my last video, it's called Touch Grass. I honestly don't remember what it was about. It's about Twitter and some other stuff. Oh, like VR and stuff, yeah. So go ahead and watch that. I'll see you guys next time.